Okay, so what I've done here is made a board that kind of is just a dead knockoff of a 1963 pick a name. Hobie, uh, Velzy, uh, Jacobs. All those boards were narrow body boards. They were 20, 20, 22, 22 and a quarter. And they were really kind of just a streamlined shape. But what I did was I really, really love that plan shape. So I, I took that plan shape and put a different rocker to it. And I pinched the rail down. Those boards had more of a tennis ball rail. And so when you turned them, they would tend to push back on you. A rail like this, it, it does not, you don't have that same thing. When you turn this, it bites and goes. You know, I, I rode a board like this when I first started surfing in 1965 but it was much heavier and again it had the big tennis ball rail and I had to drag that thing down to the beach um, it was quite difficult but so there are some improvements for sure 50 years later 60 years later or whatever it is it is a 50-50 rail with a soft tail turned up and it's just a real neutral rail all the way through. Real relaxed rocker. Everything about it is just, it goes through the water fast and smooth. It's just really foiled out. More, more than any board that I saw in the Surf Tech lineup when, when we first got together and started talking what designs I would want to do, I picked this because a lot of different people can ride this board and it's going to go through the water really easy and do everything really well. Um, and what I really like is the tough light construction. It's just, I've worked with Surf Tech in the past, in the uh, early 2000s and did tough lights then and, and uh, they really hold up well and they have such a good look to them. What they did here was replicate uh, the polyurethane polyester resin boards that I make with the color work like this they did a really nice job it's just a real easy riding board you will not be disappointed with this